It's 3.50 a.m. I've been working all night. I'm tired. I'm sitting here looking, kind of looking at the news on the internet. And, uh, I don't know. Bunch of crazy stuff. People saying one thing, other people saying something else. Fingers pointed that way, fingers pointed that way, fingers pointed that way, fingers pointed that way. Everybody's pointing fingers at each other and blaming each other. People making up stuff. I don't know. I think, I think there's a lot of speculation, a lot of fear, a lot of active imaginations. There are people saying this is the end of the world and other people saying, ah, oh, it's just the news media playing a trick on us. Ah, oh, it's just the government playing a trick on us. Other people are like, no, this is for real. This is a sickness and it's killing people. That's what I believe. I believe it's just a sickness going around, you know. That's the thing to believe. You don't, you don't believe all these other people. You know, don't even give them your time, your energy, or your thoughts. All these conspiracy theorists, all these blamers and, you know, people like that. Don't listen to them. Anyway. Oops. I'm tired. I've been up all night. Ugh. Long time. Worked a 12 hour shift. You know, I ended up getting maybe four hours of sleep before I had to go back and do another 12 hour shift. But, um, uh, the people are crazy. I don't know. don't really know what to say. I figured I'd just turn my phone on and, or my camera on, my phone, whatever, and then sit here and jibber jabber, <laughs> slap my jaws back and forth. Okay. But anyway, when there's stuff going on, the crazies come out of the woodwork. They come out of the woodwork and start jibber jabbering. You know, just throwing words around that mean nothing. You know, like Hillary Clinton. She's jibber jabbering again. And then these late night, you know, liberal talk show, talk show hosts, you know, all they do is jibber jabber. They make no sense. They're just, they're just on there to make fun of people. I don't like them. Anyway, there, there's just crazy stuff going on in the world. Uh, I'd much rather watch somebody get on a boat and go fishing or watch somebody or listen to somebody cook a good meal mm, yeah I don't know maybe watch somebody plant a kitchen garden that's interesting good stuff gotta look up at the monitors make sure there's nothing going on oh I've got let me count these things one two three four, five, six, seven, seven screens right here for me to keep an eye on. Plus I get up and walk around and make rounds once in a while. Make sure everything's okay. <clears throat> uh, I don't know. 
I think I'd rather watch videos about, I don't know, the tallest planetary mountain in the solar system. That's more interesting. Or, or, or maybe, you know, how to feed your worm bin for 24 hours. Or, or 60 days or whatever. How to make some easy homemade bread. Ah, man. Or growing sweet potatoes. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. I think that's what, what we need to be thinking about. Instead of stressing and worrying about what all these freaks on TV and in the news media and around the world say, we need to, of course, follow, you know, the uh, guidelines of, you know, the government, um, you know, protecting ourselves and protecting our families and loved ones and friends and neighbors. You know, but we also need to be thinking of other things and doing other things. You know, like maintaining our health, being healthy, getting exercise, eating right, sleeping right. Sleeping right, that's something I need to do. I need to be sleeping right. Uh, I don't know. I think going to the lake, standing on the shore, casting a fishing rod out, catching a fish, that's what I need to do. Need to build some raised bed gardens. I might even camp out in the backyard. Yeah. Get my camping gear together, cleaned up, put it all together in the backyard. Camp out. Maybe have me a little little fire going out there and do me uh, some wild edibles and cook up some stew. Like if I go to the lake and catch a fish, I can come back to my little camp in my backyard. I can do a catch and cook video. How about that? Yeah. Cooking, uh, you know, pan frying whole bluegill or deep frying a large catfish mm. but then again I could explore the yard get down and crawl around and look at everything up close maybe I can find some dandelion leaves make me a salad yeah how about that I feel like I'm getting ready to sneeze Oh man, let me get my Kleenex. I don't know. I don't know. Listening to the radio and watching TV and looking on the internet. You know, it's going to drive a lot of people insane. A lot of people are going to go crazy. They're going to stress out. They're going to worry. They're not going to eat right or sleep right. They're going to stress everybody out because they're stressing out. I don't know what to say anymore. I don't know. I could say, hey, 500 pounds of potatoes. Yeah, that's my goal. I'm going to grow that in my yard. I think that's a good goal. Real good goal. I'm going to pause this. I really like that pause button. I can just hit that pause button and blow my nose and, and come back and Start the video where I left off. I like that. That's good. Um, I think we need to grow leafy greens and potatoes, tomatoes, all kinds of good stuff. That's what we need to do. We need to work in our gardens. You know what? I just I just saw this thing on here where uh, 480 Iranians died in one day, and thousands of others.
poison themselves. They drink methanol. Methanol will kill you. You don't drink that stuff. Methanol is a type of alcohol. But you know what? You need to be careful of that kind of stuff. You need to be very, very careful on the rumors that you hear about home remedies and, you know, the things that you can do to protect yourself from a virus. You got to you got to be very skeptical of what you're hearing and what you're he who you're hearing it from. Because uh, apparently these people over in Iran, somebody spread the rumor that if you drink methanol, that will protect you from the virus. That methanol will kill your ass. It will kill you. And if it doesn't kill you, it will mess you up bad. It poisons you and it destroys your brain, your heart, your liver, your kidneys, your intestines. You know, you'd be messed up. You know, you don't do that. You know, I don't know. A lot of Iranians are Muslim and, you know, Muslims for the most part don't drink any kind of alcohol, you know, so them hearing that, you know, they could drink methanol and it protect them from the virus, that, that seems really kind of odd, you know, why would they do something like that when it's against their religion or their normal way of life over there. Of course, I understand that not, not all people in a nation follow the same rules and guidelines as some others, you know. I mean, in Iran, I know that there are Muslims, yeah, but there are also non-Muslims. There, there are people who are active, you know, in other religions or no religion or you know, different ways of life. So I really don't know, you know, which group these, all these people fall under, you know, but I don't know. It's kind of like backwards thinking, you know, people that live, um, you know, it's, it's like, even though they have technology of now and they have the capability of having that technology and the knowledge that the rest of the world has in the Western world, it's like, a good bit of their population still lives like they did 500 years ago or 600, you know, or a thousand years ago. You know, they meander around and, you know, they do things in a way that, you know, most Westerners and, and even most Easterners don't do. You know, they, they tend to think kind of, old fashioned and way back you know uh, i don't know it we have, there you know it's that way all over the world you know different groups of people even here where i live you know just a couple of miles down the road from where i live you know there there are people who still ride in buggies pulled by horses you know and their families never ever have driven an automobile or or never ever had central heat and air in their house or never ever used you know machinery or technology you know because it's their chosen way of living right? A lot of it's based on their religion. So it's everywhere. It's all over the world, you know, but people also know that, that there, there are things you can do, you know, that, that will hurt you, that will, you know, you know, they got enough common sense and enough knowledge to know that you don't drink methanol. I mean, to me, that's just as bad as going down to the gas station, to the gas pump, to pump gas, but instead of putting it in your car, drinking it, right? That is nuts. 
you know, so be careful of what you hear, you know, in your community and what you hear online or see online or in the papers or in the news media or whatever. You, you need to be very skeptical of what people are saying. You know, follow your own gut and your own common sense. Don't follow, you know, don't follow other people's guidance blindly. Just don't do that because you'll end up like them, dead or, dis or, or totally messed up for the rest of your life. But anyway, I had a rant in me and I didn't even know it sitting here. I was tired. Uh, I was looking for something to do. So, you know, I'm sitting here at work. Now it's 4.07 a.m. I've been here for a long time. I've been here since 7 p.m. And it's 4.07 a.m. So I turned the camera on on my phone, set it right here on my desk, and uh, figured I'd sit here and jibber-jabber. <laughs> and talk so anyway I, I don't know I ended up with a rant got me a cup of coffee so I'm going to sit here and drink my coffee and then I'm going to review this video to find out if I really want to post it to YouTube or not if you would give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel I'm going to have a few more rants. I know I will. But anyway, enjoy your life. Follow your gut and your common sense. And don't do crazy things. All right? See you. Bye.